Right. I think uh, comparing Wolf's back air to Peach's fair, Wolf's back air is a little better for killing. Peach, Peaches tend to throw out the fair so much that it rarely ever kills, uh, except at higher percents. Uh, uh, it's great for edge guarding or sending your opponent off stage. Right. Though. I mean, I know Peach. That's like one of the best, like Peach's best kill options is her fair. So I don't know what Peaches you've been seeing that like don't kill with fair. You usually it's the well, it gets very stale is what I'm trying to say. It does get stale, but like usually you only need one or two fairs to like actually kill. And oh, here we I'll go, go to Spiral, Spiral Mountain. Mountain. Nice. Yeah. A little bit of the banjo music for you. Yeah. I love the music selection in all of in this game is has gotten so varied and diverse and has so many amazing tracks. I mean, you could listen to all of these songs for days. It's 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 great, and I love that they added banjo all of banjo's music to it because there's some bangers in there. Absolute. Oh yes, of course. Now, can you imagine that we still have a, a Challenger Fighter Pack Two coming out in the future? I. I, I can't even comprehend it at this point. I mean, I'm still getting over Banjo right now. Right. We, we are now seeing in winner's semis, which is great. Uh, I don't, it's not winner's semis oh, yet. It's winner's quarters. Winner's quarters. Okay, so we had a, the other winner's quarters match. I, yeah. I, uh, my mistake. So this is to get into winner's semis. Correct. <laughs> oh, my God, yeah. And that's kind of the thing that you have to respect about Shulk is that you don't really want to approach Shulk just because he can just short hop it in like Nair, and he has a hitbox on his Nair that just lasts forever, and it covers so much space. So, I'm at. What am I trying to say? Now, now I've got your your uh, confusion. As well. <laughs> well, no. I uh, I am the confusion. Why is it called Kansas? But this is not called all Kansas. Why is it Arkansas? <laughs> I am confusion. No, so what I was going to say is, uh, I believe many people consider Komei to be the best Shulk in the world. Um, so imagine saying, you know what, I'm going to take the best Shulk on the, in the world out, or take him on with a character that just came out today. And that's what we're seeing right now with Vader. I mean, yet again, there's that sort of like unfamiliarity with the matchup too that he has to deal with. You know, he's never really fought uh, a banjo. So, like, what do you do? What do you? What does banjo want? What do you Ooh, want? Like, how bad, do you want? Apparently, yeah. <laughs> you, to punish side. <laughs> yes, definitely. Didn't mean to cut you off there. Uh, yet again, banjo. Like, he can get kills, but like, he's very much like trying to like rush in there to get them, you know? So as long as Komei can kind of just keep his spacing and just keep him walled out with his aerials, uh, Vader's just going to have a hard time just ever landing that killing blow. Yeah, I imagine this is going to be very difficult for Vader. Uh, it seems to me that uh, Banjo uh, it has probably has a lot of kill setups that just haven't been found out yet or, uh, you know, with that grenade and, and uh, his eggs. I mean, I know a lot of the grenade setups, like there have been a few that have been found out, but the problem with the grenade setups is that you have to throw out the grenade and then catch it and throw it back. And by that point, like the person's expecting it. Like if you're not expecting him to throw it by the time he like re-grabs it, you are just aren't prepared for it. But oh my God, yet again, that board smash isn't true. That's why you got to go for up smash. Up smash comes out a little bit earlier. Yeah, that or up tilt, I believe, I believe both kill. Uh, yeah, but that grenade uh, do, it does not stay out for very long. It, it, it kind of, you're showing your hand there. You need to throw it pretty quickly. Right. And yet again, just sneaking in that bear right there. And Kome is sitting at a very comfortable stock lead right here. And here we see that buster mode. Right. Just, uh, okay. uh, always a risk for Shulk, but while you're ahead, it's definitely worth it. In oh, fact, yeah. in most situations, uh, it's worth it because Shulk with this huge hitbox really is able to control the pace of the game. So if they want to go in with Buster or try to keep you out, um, then Shulk is very good at doing that. Ooh. Oh! And that, Kome. That hit so far below stage. He's writing the, the book about how to edge guard Don uh, Donkey Kong Banjo with. Shulk, yep. of course, 
could go. For, he's seen Shulks go for that in a lot of situations. I but mean, if you have a slow recovery like that that doesn't have an active hitbox on it, go for it. That's right. Yeah, we haven't really seen Kome go out much against Banjo. I wonder if that's just fear of matchup knowledge. It seems like uh, uh, Shulk would probably do a pretty good job off stage against Banjo. Yep. I mean, you do have to respect the side B. It is invincible, basically, so like, you're not going to be able to edge guard that. But there's only so many times that he can use it within a stock, so he has to be really careful about how he uses his resources. Okay, yeah. And so Banjo having that, that, that down B, uh, of course, if there's a hitbox that clanks with it, you're actually going to take extra damage for that. And we saw that with Kome right there, just throwing out the grenade and getting hit with the sword and taking right. extra damage. Oh, no, he's off stage, but... Yet again, that's the other thing about Banjo. He does have uh, two double jumps. So two double jumps isn't enough, apparently. Not, yeah, they're not especially high, unfortunately, for Banjo. All right. Uh, his recovery is good, but it's not amazing. It's an OK recovery. Basically, you're you're hinging on the fact that they're not going to catch you air dodging her sled. That's basically what you're hoping for, you know? Yeah, and depending that's true. on the characters, like some can punish harder than others. Yeah, especially if you have a really good like forward smash or down smash. But and Shulk, yeah, with those fares in Buster mode, he's gonna catch you every time yeah. against a good one at least. Okay, interesting there. So we saw the grenade come out. Komei came a little late, and he actually got punished for it by by getting hit by the grenade. Yet again, quick nair out of shield, trying to push his advantage state as much as he can, but. Here we go, uh, going for a super hard read with that force match. You're going to get punished with the, with the air slash. I really wanted that to hit. I love seeing people get hit by the bird. Yeah. And again, Kome is just trying to wrap it up. He read the double jump, but you know what? Because uh, Banjo's double jumps aren't that high, he kind of jumped above him. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> He's just done. If Banjo had a uh, Twitch channel, you better believe he'd get in trouble for animal abuse. Oh, God. <laughs> hey, 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 who says it's abuse? Maybe she likes it. I, th I think it is. Is Kazooie uh, a yes, girl? Yes, Kazooie is female. Oh, okay. Kazooie is female. It's also kind of hinted at that she likes it, but, like, not really. I don't know. It, it, it's weird. I haven't, I haven't played Banjo in, like, a long time. Character's goofy. And oh, I yeah. It. I mean, that's the whole point of Ganjo Kazooie. And ooh! That's, that's not how you want to go out with yeah. the side be there. I got through yeah. that pretty good. And that was the super strong backslash there because you know he wanted to set up for that grenade, but. I mean, you all know. Uh, if you have any casual friends who play this game and they play Shulk, it's backslash like 50% of the time they're going to backslash you. Yeah. I mean, I feel <laughs> like, like that's the one 